Good evening, buenas noches. My name is uh, Jerry Gonzalez. I'm CEO of Galeo and the Galeo Impact Fund, uh, promoting civic engagement and leadership development for the Latino community in Georgia. Mimi also has been my boss for many years now as a board member, and I, I, I truly thank her for, for that great service that she's had. But how do you put into words the meaning and impact someone has had in your life and the life of others? Mimi's work may be done on the city council, but I know that she is not done serving her communities, both here and statewide. Before I do all that, though, I do want to reflect on Mimi's history with Galeo for a little bit. I met Mimi Woodson soon after we started Galeo in 2003. At that time, the acronym stood for the Georgia Association of Latino Elected Officials. State Senator Sam Zanarepa, State Representative Pedro Marin, and I decided we needed to start something to be a catalyst for engagement of the Latinx community in our state. We had been through a brutal legislative session, pushing for expanded access to driver's licenses without regardless with, with pushing for access to driver's licenses for all, regardless of their immigration status. It was through that session that we realized that we needed to focus our efforts to build power outside of the legislature for our Latino community and to ensure that we would have a stronger voice under the Gold Dome because we knew our community was only going to grow and be impactful for our state's future. Shortly after we got started, I drove to Columbus and after we started the organization because I had heard that there was a Latina city council member here and wanted her to make sure that she was involved in, in what we were building. It didn't take long to convince her what we were doing was something that she wanted to be a part of, and she joined our board very soon after that. She has been a vital and important part of our board since then, and has been an active member of our board through the Finance Committee. Since she has joined us, the Latino community in Georgia has grown to over 1 million strong, about 10% of Georgia's population. Latinos accounted for 28% of the state's growth in the last census. The Latino electorate has grown from being only 10,000 voters to, in 2003 to well over 395,000 voters in the most recent 2022 election. Furthermore, the Georgia Latinx electorate has overperformed the voter participation rates as compared to the national Latino voter participation rates in several recent election cycles. And we have graduated over 800 alumni of our Galeo Institute for Leadership. I could go on and on, but I won't. The important thing to remember is that Mimi has been a steadfast board member, a wise mentor, and more importantly to me, a personal dear friend for me as well as for our community. Columbus, you are witnessing history today. 28 years in elected public service is a significant milestone. She is in fact the longest serving Hispanic elected official, not just in Columbus and the first in Columbus, but really statewide. And I would venture to say that she is the longest serving Hispanic elected official in the Southeast as well. Mimi Woodson is clearly a pillar in your community here. But I will also say that Mimi's impact and leadership has helped us statewide in building power for the Latino community for almost 20 years now. Given the performance of the Latino electorate in the last several recent statewide elections, the impact has also been felt nationally. Mimi, on behalf of the boards of both Galeo and the Galeo Impact Fund, I wanted to be here to say thank you for your many years of service to your city, and we look forward to continuing to work with us in building power for our Latino community. Mil gracias, Mimi, y un fuerte abrazo. Next, I will call up Danny Arcevia.